Okay, so we've got here, David works with his section manager in a department store. Um, he has a salary of £17,000 per annum, but he also receives a bonus, it says here, okay? So a bonus is sort of something extra you get on top of your salary. So you can make a choice about which bonus to take from those offered by the store this year. So you can either have the smaller share when £2,500 is shared in the ratio 2 to 3, or you can have a sum of money equal to 6% of his salary. So which of these bonus should he take? Well, naturally he's going to choose the, um, the one that gives him the, the highest amount. All right. So if we focus on the first bullet point here with the ratio, right? so £2,500 um, okay, shared in the ratio, um, two to three. Now, with ratio, we can see how many shares there are in total. So we've got two shares here on this side, three shares on that side. So in total, we've got five shares. Yeah. Um, so the two thousand five hundred pounds is going to be divided by five. Okay. Now, when you divide that by five, of course, twenty-five divided by five is five. So 25 divided by 5 is 5, and add the two zeros. So 500 pounds. So one share will equal to 500 pounds. Now, what does it say in the question? He gets the smaller share, yeah? He has the smaller share. So in other words, he has two parts. The smaller share will be two parts. So he has two shares. So he will receive two lots of the 500 pounds, which is 1,000 pounds. Okay, so that's what he'll get if he takes advantage of the first situation there. Or the second situation, he gets 6% of his salary. So we need to work out, okay, the 6% of his salary. Now his salary is £17,000, yeah? £17,000. Now, um, lots of ways you can work out 6%, okay? Um, what I always tend to start with is 10%. Okay, I always go with 10% to start with because 10% is easy for me to work out. 10% um, just means divide by 10. So if I divide that by 10, you just take off a zero. Okay, so 10% is 1,700. From there then, right, you know, think about it. We want 6%, but we could now from there work out what 5% is. Okay, so we could halve the... Um, 10%, so we need to halve this, we need to divide it by 2, yeah? So divide that by 2, okay, um, use the bus stop method. Now 2 doesn't go into 1, so we carry it. 2 goes into 17 um, 8 times, exactly, with, but there's a 1 remainder, isn't there? Because it goes into it 8 times, which gives me 16, so 1 remainder. 2 into 10 goes 5 times, and then uh, 2 into 0, 0 times. So... 5% is 850 pounds. Now, 5% is good, but I want 6%, so I need another 1%, don't I? I need 1% more to, to get my 6%. But 1% is easy, again, when, if you know 10%. 10% is 1700, 1700. 1% is just going to be 170. Because if you think about it, to get from 10% to 1%, we just need to divide it by 10, okay? Divide it by 10, and we get 1%. Um, so if we divide that by 10, take off a 0, so we get this here. So 6% will be these added together. Okay, So I haven't lined them up properly, but if you add the units, you get 0. If you add the 10s the, um, the there, 5 and 7 is 12. So that'll be 2, carry 1. And then 8 and 1 is 9, plus that 1 is 10. So £1,020. So the, the second offer, he will receive... £1,200, uh, sorry, £1,020, okay, um, so what's the best deal? Well, clearly, the second offer, okay, is the best deal, he should take, he should take the 6% offer, the 6% of his salary offer, okay, as this is actually it's 20 pounds more isn't it 20 pounds more than the other offer okay